bitches. Bro. And non-binary hoes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to a Sinful Reacts, where we this watch is... MCRPs or MCTVs and give you our criticisms, sins, and praises. Off to Cat. I'm not gonna lie, I think that's a sin right there. Uh, anyway. <laughs> um, hi, yeah, so, just quick go over of who he's here. Hi, I'm Kat, I'm one of the people here. I voice and stuff sometimes, and overall just exist, and make skins for Minecraft stuff, so that's why I'm totally qualified to do this. Hi, my name is Davin Productions, I'm illegal. <laughs> I am a I'm a voice actor, a body actor, and that is why I'm qualified to be here to 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 sin what needs to be sinned. Off to you, Toby. Oh, okay. Okay. Hi. Um, I'm Toby or Keys Kaias. I, I make skins. Um, that's the only thing I'm good at. Uh yeah. I think I'm qualified. <laughs> I'm just kinda here. <laughs> Wait, so low key. That's how you pronounce your name? Yeah. Oh. This guy is. Huh. Anyway, well, hi. Well, anyway, hi, I'm Chris Nocturne, and this and I'm the owner of the channel that you're watching. I'm also extremely handsome if you didn't know. But anyway. Oh, shit. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> Shut up, Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. What are we watching today? Oh, well, today we are watching um, the trailer, the episode zero and episode one of Creepypasta Calamities Collide, because the trailer and episode zero are both very short, so we're throwing it in with episode one to keep everything up. It is by someone we all know named Yuki Blaze, and uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, we've decided to sin, or, well. No. So, possibly not sin. Will it be good and chill, <laughs> or will it go up in a blaze? We'll see today. Ah, it's funny because you keep blaze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No shaders. <laughs> sin. <laughs> There's this no is shaders. no, yeah. There's no shaders. You can see the mansion so clearly. Oh, I didn't even realize. There's no fog. Nothing. Oh my god, the camera's moving. Oh my god, the window looks like Among Us. <laughs> Among Us. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, the middle one, like just yeah, above yeah. the door. Yeah, wait, yeah. Does. Oh yeah, it does. Like even the one on top of it looks like Among Us. <laughs> Netherbrook. We never Sanatorium. see this. We never even go there with oh. as the series continues. A street. We, we don't. We didn't see. We gotta pretend we don't know what's going on. Yeah, here. we gotta be like oh, cinema sins. We have to act like we've never seen this before. Oh <laughs> shit. Uh. Oh, that's interesting. I hope we see it in the future or this. A park. Ooh. Throughout my life, I was always told stories by my. Ew. Parents. Stories that impact me in more ways than <laughs> that. Basically, yeah, hear the it. audio, what like the start of the lines. I don't know if anybody else heard that. Yeah, I heard that, yeah. I want to go on the record and say this is not me. Forever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought I, I, I was. <laughs> no, it's not. Discontinued. Season 2 is never happening. Or maybe it is. Don't know what that is. Who are these people? I the uh, I the difference in the is. eyes and the. T <clears throat> oh, who are these guys? Henry and William. Damn <laughs> <laughs> it! Oh, I. I don't like the shot. The voice gets better in the future. Water tower is up for staring up at the sky. I didn't think that that's what the, it would sound like. This is so like. I heard the story of the living doll who swallowed her husband whole. Who are you? <laughs> told you that the stories are real. 
You know, I love. Oh, flashing oh, lights! Seizure. Oh God! Flashing oh, light warning! All right. That I'm not gonna lie. I don't, that is that was that was not the choice, guys. That was not it. There's oh, my oh. sin for the episode. Oh, God. My sin oh, for the trailer is that freaking flashing at the end. Yeah, no, the All skins right. were not that great. The no, some of yeah. the cinematography was very uh, amateur. Uh, yeah. Uh, like, I'll say, some of the shots, I kind of liked some of the shots, but, like, a lot of the shots were, like, very much samey. No, yeah, like, just kind of moving forward or moving backwards or... Like, they did try to get that one where it was, like, a uh, tilted, like, shot just to kind of show yeah. the front of the water tower. Yeah. Which, you know, it was very bad because it's not... they They weren't, like, trying to kind of crouch and make sure that it wasn't obvious that they were walking down a path. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Yeah, so, but, uh, so... yeah, flashy lights and then, uh, Cloud Shift Gaming, yeah. Uh, those are the sins of this episode, uh... <laughs> oh, was, oh absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And the, and the voice acting was not as great as it could have been. Yeah, but then again, we have to <laughs> it is a trailer, is. so we'll see how the actual series is. Actually, even that's one more little sin there. It doesn't actually have any sort of hint of the plot. All you got to see was just true, people. yeah, and you know, hints at like the creepy pastas. This is till the this end. Is true. What would we so, say the? Uh... Actually, yeah, that's not counting towards our uh, spreadsheet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we should count the trailer. In our little spreadsheet we have here of least valuable character to most valuable character to best and worst moments. Of course, mm. of course. Um, okay. I'm going to also say that maybe we don't do episode zero there either because of how short it is. That is true. But Yeah, fair <clears throat> enough. So uh, is the title of this episode Toby Falls Off the Water Tower or is it It's Giving Me <laughs> yeah. the Finger? Uh, I think it's, yeah. it's Giving Me the Finger under the pretense of, of that is what is... On the on the, but, the little title thing, I think we're gonna yeah. ignore what the video says. I think okay. I think I know why this is. Just you know, I know this is supposed to be like oh outside perspective thing here. Yeah. But I I think I know why this is the case. I think originally they didn't know because this is a parody on a sitcom. They didn't know what the uh, clip was called originally, so they just said Toby falls off the water tower. But during the editing process, we learned that the clip was called It's Giving Me the Finger. So I think they they learned the title, just fixed it up there, but forgot to change it in, like, the, in the beginning. Oh, let's see, I see. Okay, okay. Fair I'm enough. nerding. Let's watch the thing. Yeah, let's watch yeah. the thing. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, it's the creepypastas. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who are you? Who is that? Yeah. You think that looks like Paris? God, no wonder you think Toby could be a model. The Coraline guy? Toby a model. Look, I like Toby. <laughs> oh, what a surprise. Toby likes Toby. <laughs> Gentlemen, we've finally done it. A pot leaf on the water tower. Yay! This is the proudest moment of my life. That glitch. It doesn't look like a pot. Honestly, I kind of, I kind of like that glitch effect. It actually, like the it works, but it's so weird at the same time. Well, it does have to look perfect, Nasty. It's art. Good Careful enough, listening, man. or I'll too miss what they say. Fine. Yeah, just make it wider. Right oh, I remember. Yeah, out further though. <laughs> oh my god, Toby! Hey, Tobster! Yeah? What's it look like from down there? It looks like it's giving me a finger. Does my little fuck. Boy, Toby's gonna be happy to see that I finished this graffiti. <laughs> Oh, yes. I am very talented. <laughs> 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 oh, 
And they they show a shot of him falling, but they didn't do that for Toby originally. <laughs> it's a silly episode, and I kind of wish, like, with how the trailer kind of presents it, it's a little odd. It's a fun surprise, but again, yeah. like, episode, the trailer gives it a horror vibe, but then suddenly yeah. it's a comedy. It's a comedy with this. It's a horror with the trailer. I think of the two, though, I prefer this. Oh, absolutely. I just think it's a little more fun and lighthearted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Compared to, like, ah, yes, let's take ourselves serious to the maximum. And, and yep. Yeah, <laughs> I no. Well, yeah. I, I just like the fun little times with, like, characters basically everyone already knows. Because creepypastas obviously aren't original characters. They're grabbed from the internet. Just mm. have fun with those. Exactly. Yeah, but the only issue I really have with episode zero is we don't know who the doll character is. So yeah. that's kind of like it can't, comes out of nowhere. We don't know. We don't get much of an explanation of their of their characters. Again, this is just random. But if this was like after episode one, then maybe it would have been fine because you're introducing the characters. There's, you know, some act. You know that this is a comedy, and it, it that that that's just my that that's yeah. just it. You know, it's a kind of it's yeah. kind of it's a good episode in the wrong part of the ep- in like in the wrong timeline. You know, yeah. the wrong section. I can you see that. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. So. My All right, well, my only criticism I'll give, it is sometimes hard to hear what the elf says. Oh no, absolutely. That filter ben, sucks. Ben, yeah. yeah, the elf. It's just kind of a little heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. They lighten it a little bit, then yeah, it would have been fine. Yeah, definitely. Alright. Now let's actually get to the first official episode, shall we? Yeah, boy. Let's this see is where what the we got. criteria comes in. So let's see. The following Minecraft Pro Play, Group of Calamities, has had a has been rated PG thirteen. Violent and graphic content, vulgar language, emotional and unsettling topics, torture and intentional injury, death and murder. Murder. Episode one. <laughs> Welcome to Netherbrook. You know what's funny about that? Didn't that the PG like thirteen thing show up for the um for episode zero? Yes. I no way no way of... it didn't actually. I thought it did. Huh. No, I don't. Oh think yeah, it did. no, cause you're right because it just kind of played the silly music. Huh. I thought it did. I thought it was. Fu- I thought that was. No, no, nah, nah, you're going crazy, bro. Yeah, crazy. Like, let's see what crazy. emotional and unsettling topics they have, shall we? <laughs> indeed, indeed. Let's see. The trailer music. <laughs> Very fast shot, honestly. Are you fucking kidding me? You kids have no respect for your elders these days. Hey, turn Karen, around when I'm must be the emotional you. trauma. Like that, we'll <laughs> oh my God. I know the police around there wasn't the really <laughs> any like build up to where we are at all, you. and I'm getting my I don't know. I'm suing you. I hope your ass. <laughs> <is stupid. laughs> I feel like we should have got a build up to where exactly we are instead of just going road woman. Listen, Jeff. No one is impressed by your shitty ass attitude and your stupid ass hair color. So far. Hey, 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 hey. She has some nice hair. Uh huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's what you want to defend, Chris? Really? Hey, look. Don't diss dyed hair. That doesn't scare me. I'm just this saying. Look, cringy, look at this. Look at that stop what sign. I bet I What's that stop sign doing? Something like I'm that. never pushing the stop sign. We can't sit it for that, though. Yeah, Minecraft is buggy, like especially with DecoCraft. Let's put a little red on it. I love that she had all the time to run. Run! Run! <laughs> Go! <What>? Dumb bitch! <laughs> Oh, why is... Oh, that's new. That leaves... Um, per, that's not in the thumbnails. <laughs> oh, shaders. Look, shaders. Oh, my God. 
Oh and it's God. never oh damn. Oh my. It's even scary in person. Which means we all have used the ah. What's up all you They're awesome not they weren't people? holding their my phone in the latest is... shot. Sag. Davern? Looks worse. No. Uh, what? Uh, uh, <laughs> Don't compare right. me to Cloud. I'm sorry, it's your it, it's literally your old skin. <laughs> Okay, well, if that's the case, it's, why isn't the fog showing up on the camera? That's not how camera works. It is. Works. Worry about it. Wait, is it? I thought it was. Oh, no. No, it's not. Like, I've seen that. Like, I need an so right now. We've got a civilian. I repeat, we've got a civilian. He didn't even Make punch sure to signify he picked up the phone. Awesome scary videos. Is that a mole? Let us explore these legendary. Oh, it's a pog face. Oh, okay. Pog before pog was re like ever a thing, or at least the term pog. Or, I don't know whatever the hell type face thing. Ooh. How far away was that security oh, outpost? Oh my god, guys! Did you hear? Sorry. Was it a spring? Yeah, spring. Who knows? Ooh. <laughs> you know what? I, I love spooks. <laughs> Don't go in there, kid. Wait, weren't you just on guys. the sidewalk so by the gate? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Also, that funny little yippee jump before getting to the gate. Hey. Go inside. Stop him. Well, I think, I don't think he wants to die. I mean, you're not wrong, but damn. God damn it. Wait, is that Justin? Oh, wait, that's Justin. I it thought that is? was Cloud for the longest time. There were two different ones. There was the one that was inside the thing with the black hair, and then there was no. that one. Oh. oh! That makes more sense now. Okay, guys. It looks like we're coming upon a creek of some sort, and... What is that? A piece of paper. Never seen it? Oh, God. That's, uh, really oh. disturbing. I mean, holy shit, guys. I that is no, of Slenderman looks like he's angry. Does anybody else see that? <laughs> like, I know it's exits <laughs> on the know. eyes. Ooh. Okay, got it. Take a drink every time he says, ooh. Oh, hello? I'd be dead on the floor. Uh, no. Anyone there? I know he doesn't say it a lot, but... Oh, no, wait. Uh, 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 Never say those uh, words in a horror okay. show. That was uh, definitely not my imagination. <laughs> All right. Who the uh, I think it's time to go. Google. See, smart, oh, smart character there. I feel like this, the footsteps are too loud. Where? Yeah, they I are. agree. Yeah. Where the fuck is the gang? A f oh, okay. a first person perspective. It's interesting and it works. Also, I oh. just gotta say, oh. it is they they oh, just kind of showed so the same log right that now. he was just at, but yeah. they signified that he's been running in a different direction. Which, yeah. you know, Man, sure, I know the set, but still, I'd be like, ugh. Now how do you get See, there? there's the log he just supposedly ran from. Jeff can teleport? jeff a port Tell a Jeff. Maybe Run. Should. Seconds. Still could have ran. To sleep. Still can run. I'm not those, gonna lie. Those are bats, yeah, not like, birds. Both of Jeff's kills here. This person had so much ample time to move. Jeff. Oh no, didn't you see he was tired? Jeff, are you oh, a good yeah, killer? Right. Or do you just no, take advantage of people's stupidity? Right. And cut. Stupidity. Why does he do that? And like, nobody's gonna get the phone. Just so like why? That. Oh, cool. Who are you? Why is she she, she jumping you, while sitting? You. I'll be here all yeah. night. Who are you? No Mr. fall damage. Jeff, Mr. Sunday told us to be home by noon. I was just joking, Tori. Right, right. That was a joke. But Jeff, why are you gonna be out in the forest all night? <laughs> Never mind that. Anyways, let's get this one back to the mansion. I promise I give EJ this one. Okie dokie, Random. Kill me. I'm gone. What the f- I'm out of here. She said something stupid. I'm out. <laughs> Alright, well, well, we're following this this individual, um, uh, the Tori. Why is there a pig? There's a pig. 
Why is there a pig? Good Why are we... The pig has a skin. We still don't get an explanation of who she is. We only hear her name. Oria and Jane. Well, I'm assuming she's not Jane. Well, it's well, not yeah. Jane, yeah. So she's Victoria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Oh, well, don't you ever talk about your selfish... British! 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 <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Look at all the cast that we're just now being introduced to in a silly way. Why is Masky sitting differently? <laughs> That's <laughs> awkward. I mean, you've already eaten today, you fat fuck! Why do you eat into the bowl? Can't eat about <laughs> I'm still hungry, you fucking banana-looking-ass bitch! 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 Also, Reese's Puffs is canon! Good morning, Tori. <laughs> You're right. Anyways, uh, where were we again? Oh, yeah, That's a weird cut. Fuck you, Edgelord! Oh, yeah, also, the weird shot that, that we don't get to actually see Hoodie's face. Hey, can I just- can we just pause this? Okay. Yeah, sure, yeah. Even though Jeff had that last word there, Hoodie fucking destroyed him. Yeah, I won't, I won't lie, fat like, fuck wins. Why is both of Jeff's insults just blah 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 blah, bitch? Like, I, you are- you, you no. Know, yeah. You're not I, intimidating at all. I just, you failed. I just realized- so, does Jane's mask just have a lip PNG from Google? <laughs> yes. I never noticed that. Even, like, at, I've never noticed that. Ever. Huh. I've never seen this variation. You know, this well, how, what do you mean, mask, Davern? Yeah. Her face. Wait, is, wait, I thought she always wears her mask. It's just, what? Okay, so here's something from behind the scenes of BWS, because we used to be on the team. Um, their Jane wears a mask. However, in the actual tale of Jane the Killer, that is her normal face. Oh, right, so, yeah, okay. Something I was... in their AU. I knew that her face was abnormal. I just, I, thought, I heard the mask thing for the longest the time. The mask thing is for this AU only. Okay, good to know, good to know. I never knew that, that it was a mask, I won't lie. No, yeah. Yeah, it was the the same color as your skin. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I won't lie. I never picked up on that. Also, yes, I agree with Cat. I think fat fuck wins the argument. <laughs> oh, ab absolutely. <laughs> like, it's the way. Also, he just had he had the soul in it. Yeah, he I did like the way man, how man Jeff said. Bitch. Actually, good at insulting in that moment. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hoodie, hoodie takes the cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's continue. Hang on, so we can learn. Guys, we can learn our silly boys. It's not easy. We've already tried. Wait, the wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Go back. Go back to that Ben shot. Look at the breaking look at the, the background glass. in the right. Why is the glass breaking? Who is breaking the glass? <laughs> yeah. Wait. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait. What's? Yeah. I know I was Jane. I was being Jane at this point. Who the fuck? <laughs> Wait, I think I know. Okay. You're very helpful. Okay. So in this shot, right? So I know Tori went over there. I think whoever's body acting Tori thinks they're in shot, so they're like trying to like bake on that table there, but like the decker craft hitting... isn't picking it up, so it's hitting the glass. Oh my god, that's funny. I think that might be what's happening. Oh, you know who would totally oh, okay. do that? You know who would totally do that? Yeah. I'm gonna call I'm gonna I'm gonna call them out here. Allie. Oh yeah, you're right, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Allie. Oh, we love you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, but yeah, that that is yeah, I think that's what's happening. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. we move on. We move on. Stop them. They're, they're, Waffle. They're very hell bent on each other. That's all I gotta go there. Is one guy I'm sorry, I have to pause it one last time. Yeah. That was my personal gripe. Tiggy Toby has ticks, not a stutter. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Ticks are different than a stutter. Yeah, what is he, stuttery Toby? So it is, I will say this, I know it is a create, could be a creative choice or whatever, and it is literally how he talks throughout the series, but it annoys me to high heaven and hell back again. That it is stutter instead of tick. Yeah. Ticky Toby should yeah. tick. Hashtag. Uh, give, we continue. Give, 
Hashtag, hashtag Ticky Toby should tick. <laughs> <laughs> We're so stupid. Oh my. Hello, Nova skinned Slender Man. I'm not sure if I've made myself clear about this before. But if the both of you don't shut your mortal mouths right now, I'll make the both of you feed the rake for two weeks. Ugh, not the rake, man. I'd rather Wait, where's the, the head body? There it is. Do. do not tempt me, Chef. Yeah. My arm still hurts from how hard you hit it. What? Ugh, fucking fine, what? whatever. Take the damn What exactly did he maybe. hit? Um, no. Nope, when did he do that? Hungry now. <laughs> Seriously, hoodie. After all that. Yes. Plus, I'm not gonna beat the rake. That thing's fucking vicious. He's not wrong. That thing would rip any of us to shreds if Slenny didn't have it under damn control. Why keep it then? Uh, at least we can agree on that. A pet. <laughs> Yeah, but why? So, why does Slenderman want a pet? Means the fight is over. Why would someone want a pet chihuahua? Yay, no I forgot idea. Allie voiced them. Let's oh, yeah. Really? So confused oh, me. That's burgers and for breakfast? Uh, Tori? That's, That's bacon. bacon. That is bacon. You pulled out you a could... burger. I mean, maybe it's a bacon, bacon burger. Maybe also, it's a bacon you burger. don't cook burgers on a skillet. You don't. I mean, you can. No, you don't. You can. I've done. I've done Not it several the times. the entire burger, though. Look at what she pulls out. Yeah, the entire burger. Like, yeah. Celebrate with some homemade breakfast on me. Sloppy Joe. That <laughs> is also sloppy, sloppy Joe. Joe. Not a burger. That's that's even worse. We went from the kitchen to, to the, the kitchen. kitchen. <laughs> what a we transition. Gotta, we gotta get in them different angles. I guess it's about time it went grocery shopping again. Has her voice gotten higher throughout the episode, by the way? Yeah, it has. It went from somewhat lower to... Oh, look at is her head bigger than, like, it's supposed to be? It is. Uh, Bobblehead. Yeah, she's like a little bobblehead. I'll say, it's yeah. something notable is that the, for some reason the female proportions yeah, have larger heads the store, for the, than their bodies could support. <laughs> what? Or having her arm. Cat, don't, I mean, the you know they... know don't you know they... Cat, the don't you know they had they had some airheads? They're out of control. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> so you mean to tell me that the store we're going to is called the store? Yeah. There's a place actually called the store. I know. There is actually there. a place called the store, yeah. Now I gotta see this. I uh... have. <laughs> you know what? Point for accuracy. What Torn, the fuck? I'm telling what you the right fuck? Now, there is no way. Here it is. He. Human forms? Are, also, uh, their voices. Are you shitting me? I, I go down this way all the time, and I've never seen this. this what is this sound? Yeppers. So, I don't want to say it. Never mind. Tell me <laughs> Sin for yeppers. Sin for yeppers. Who probably pumped <laughs> millions of dollars into this place, decided to settle on the name. Oh, I don't. The store. I don't like that, like, pieces of the skin, well, like shit, the, the outfit for Jeff, is we really HD, store. Let's go. but everything else is pixel. Like, just, why add, why add the hoodie I, strings I if don't everything know. else is not pixelated? I, I could not oh, tell you. It's not a horrible thing to do. It's Fun just fact. odd yeah. and staring-wise. Yeah. When you compare yeah. them next to Tori, who's right next to them. True. Yeah. Also, again, I'm My, still I, so, I'm just upset that, like, his hair lines to his, like, eyes. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. We need, Jeff. We need some bread. I, and also, my skin is clearly not made eggs. properly. It's these little lines on the outer layer. No. Yeah. Bad, Jeff. Mr. Slendy told me not to get you any also, alcohol. Also, also, well, those eyes suck. Oh, yeah, wait, on. no. The, why are her eyes so much more detailed than his? Mr. Slendy told me so. I can tell you why. They're I made both those blue. eyes. Story. Just use them. Look, versus they clearly just threw his together. Also, before I, yeah, that's true. Also, before I unpause with Jeff's human form, he kind of looks like Jinbot. Oh my god! He's a horrible thing to say. 
<laughs> you know, the worst part is I did make this skin. I I like I, the, I was told, I was told just to give them uh, the uh, like eyes. I wasn't a skin maker at all. I just did it. Yeah. I just, and also now that makes me, I hate that you compared them to Jim. Uh, I, I'm sorry. You got, you got better at skins. I did. You did. You did. You did. You did. You got better. I don't believe that for a second. I mean, props on them for choosing and fitting a store. This, I guess all the products uh, are just kind of. I want to go on the record and say <laughs> this is not me. <laughs> you sure? Also, that's the guy from the trailer. The oh guy. my god! The guy. guy, the trailer the, guy. The guy from Fortnite. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <it's> not. <laughs> Greg Knight, he's the chef, the killer. That's a nice vending machine back there. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's pretty All right. I'll get on that. All, all, of, the all of the it's chisels. All, all of the chisels kind of decent, yeah. I will say, I the mean, sets are really great. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, I did not expect that voice. Oh, right. Accidents happen. He doesn't even sound sorry, he just <laughs> sounds like, oh, I gotta deal with this woman now. Why is there, like, no shading in her hair? Wait a minute, I just realized something. Why is Tori's hair go from black to brown? The same with Jeff. I mean, so does, yeah, so does Jeff. Uh, wait, Jeff's hair is brown? I thought it was black. Wait, hold on. Why is that the case? Like brown. Well, and we're back at the mansion. Oh, oh, suddenly, okay. They bought a pig? Well, we ignore that black is a natural color, so technically they could have kept it. Uh, yeah. just casually playing me music. This is really good, Tori. Yeah. There's yeah, nothing on your totally. plates. This is really good. Yeah, I said. <laughs> Thank you, Victoria, for all that you have done for us. Thank you, Mr. Slendy. Thank you, everyone. So, so, they're the, so, so she's the cook. Wait, what, what the? R randomly, dr random drone? That, that could have been shot a little better, and maybe there should He's be drones. Yeah. Yeah. Audio oh warning. god. God, what a weird sounding voice. Ah, oh, who's that loser? What do you mean, Mr. Thunder? Oh, hey, it's Bobo Heart. Something entered the forest. Not a person, no. But something else. Does he not know what a drone is? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take care of this. Honestly, that would be funny if Slenderman had no knowledge of technology. I like, <laughs> I like how Hoodie has to look all the way up. After all, also, also, I just love how he just had the gun at the table. Can you rewind to see what this excuse was again? Yeah, 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 wait, yeah. I'll take care of this. No, Brian. I've already taken it down. You should be safe now. After all, it was not a living being. Alright. If you say so, boss. But if you know it, but it's a drone. I feel like he should be very skeptical right now. This is kind of awkward. Somebody say something. <laughs> you already said something. Ow! What the hell, Ben? Hey, you better can asshole. Huh? Jeez, you're what? still what? on about that? Hey, where Man, was this lid? What? Okay, are we supposed to... Yeah. Are we supposed to understand? It's a little late for that, you think? Everyone. He sounds like Kronk. <laughs> hey. Hi. Yeah! I'll die for that. God. That oh sound effect. God, it's not Chris again. Oh my god. We don't we don't care about his name. He's just not Chris oh. now. Yeah, sorry. Do we do we know his uh, name? Not no. right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know what's funny? I don't even remember his so, name. Uh, I, I I need to uh one second. Okay, it's off now. <laughs> Okay. It does. Also, that flashlight is not emitting light. Oh, wait, now it does. No, no, it's it's a bug with Jeez, the SCP man, lab mod. Really creepy. I should know I body acted him. There are several bloopers. I loved it. It's a fun session. So what's his name? I don't remember. Also, that drone is clearly working. Well, the camera on it's not, but the propellers are like another Avengers assemble. What does what does oh, I've got what does idea. Ben provide in this scenario? This like, oh, okay. I don't know. The issue I feel like the issue is is that he's an electronic don't person. Worry, Annie, I'll be a... How? Oh my god, the radio! 
I love that we just learned that someone's name is Penny. Oh, his name's Jake. Okay. My name's Jake. From State Farm? <laughs> oh. Dead. His radio was working. They almost, like, fucked them over because, ah. like, he could call on the radio, there's a corpse. And... And what the f... What the Okay, so Ben can not mess with the radios. Oh, what the shit, fuck? No. I think you can normally do or not, or if that's just something they added. No, I, no, it make I don't know. I just feel like it, because it's not actually connected to anything. I see Ben as just, like, if it's connected to something. He's he a can video game it. character, so, like, obviously video-game-esque. I don't know. You look da -da. lost and scared. Maybe you should... Okay, I should stop. Go... He, that, is what ball every, ball that is what everybody should have done. He kicked him in the balls. You gotta stop monologuing before you try to kill someone. Get the fucking drone, Ben. Wait, why the drone, not the person? All right, because Ben has no use being here. You know what would have been great if Hoodie was here and just shot him. Yeah. This would have been over. Look at those yeah, peeing- oh my- The person! Who are you again? She's supposed to be a killer in training, right? So- I don't know. Can, I, what, I see PNGs no, on her thing no, and it's throwing no, me please. off. On her arms. <laughs> no, please! God, that was such a fucking dirty voice, I'm sorry. Okay, now he's just hiding in a bush. And she's normal again. Oh, she sorry. just gave away her fucking identity as a here, as like a fucking human oh, person. I uh, just wanted to get my drone oh. back. That's all. So you don't want to hurt us? No, no, this no. Care. I would never hurt you. You're not. You were looking exit. at the That's sky. Cool. Jesus. Oh, I can take you to it. Oh, well, she is tiny. What a what a what an amateur BA. You know. Who no, does it? Did you just say it was you? Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> It is? it is? No, no, not the voice. That was Cloud. I body acted. Oh, okay. I don't understand. Why are you? Honey, if I, honey, if I could sound like an ass, I, 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 I would oh, not want to live. You'd be in a lot more Broadway musicals. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, book I it. Would. Yeah, fuck okay. get out of here. Get the fuck he out forgot. of here. I love that the body actor forgot he needed to actually hold the oh, drone, God. and that wasn't me. I. That I can I can actually say wholeheartedly. It wasn't me. Okay. So are they like in the automatic oh, assumption that they're oh my no way? What a weird fade what out and fade in. That thing's corrupted from the inside. Yeah. Down. Why not just like yeah, cut? Anything out of that? yeah. I don't so know what the not. fuck he's <laughs> saying. <laughs> okay, I have a question. Yeah. I get you can mess with electronics and stuff. But how do you corrupt a thing so badly that even when it's no longer in range of you? It's non-functioning unless you're actually messing with the hardware itself, which yeah. I don't think he does. I think he just messes with the internal stuff, but once it's out of his range, it's out of his range. Yeah, he yeah. has to have, like, a range to it. I unless doubt Slenderman's just... the one who did it, but I have no idea. I don't no, know. No, I don't, I don't, I mean, Slenderman no, shows originally, that has... No, because yeah. originally it did show that Slender was the one fucking with it. Yeah, yeah but that's because they were in the Slender Forest. He's out of that now. Yeah. So yeah, a main critique is we actually, it really depends on the extent of their powers. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I can see Slender, like Slenderman is known to give like this static effect when he's around, so that makes sense. Like being in his forest, he has some effects on technology and yeah. the the person with the Slender Sickness and all that. I don't even know if that's canon fully. I know that's just a Marble Hornets thing, but um, True. Yeah, ben, well... ben has some weird. The elf boy know. has some lore. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Yeah. Well, let's keep going. Let's see if yeah. I'll talk to Mr. Sundy. Thanks. God, I'm hurting. I'm gonna remember that bastard. No, no dick. No balls. Shut up, Let's just get back to the mansion. Damn, his balls hurt that much. <laughs> Jane won't be happy. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm confused. Oh, here. they found the radio. 
Come on, Benny boy, let's get a move on. Why oh, did he veer off? Yeah. Like, like they went uh, from... plot convenience. Yeah, like well, Ben would had to go forward and take a left. And why is Santa Claus in the episode two <laughs> thumbnail? <laughs> well, we'll, well, we'll have to see you next time. Two. And the next on, episode, go to go to the go to the. <laughs> Yeah. All right, here we go. All right. We're gonna do that eventually. So I wanted you here. Anyways, that's the episode. What are what are your thoughts? What are what are the thoughts of the episode, guys? I mean, from from a starting of a series perspective, you know, they give us some insight to characters. Now, I will say, a critique would be we're still not knowing a lot about them. But for an episode one, it's not that bad, I'd say. Hmm. I. Mm. I, I would have to agree with that. I think what I really liked about the episode, and, you know, you can count this as my best episode moment, I like how we transitioned from scene one, which is very horror, very horror. Like, I don't know if we needed that Karen scene, but having that YouTuber kind of getting stalked and hunted by um, Jeff was really cool. Yeah. To then, you know, showing, like, oh, hey, yeah, this is kind of like a family sit calm like we have yeah. jeff you know trying to teach tori we have them at the dinner table we have hoodie and jeff kind of fighting each other so yeah. it, it, it's a good uh, way to transition and show there's gonna be horror there's gonna be laughs yeah there you go um i'm actually gonna kind of piggyback off this and it does mark my worst and best funnily enough for the episode i think my worst honestly Ignoring flaws of stuff later on to a degree, but that's not, like, episode moment, really. I think it's that Karen scene. Yeah. Mm. And the main reason is, like, it's just not needed. Like, it's... we get two Jeff killing people scenes in a row. Why was the Karen one needed? Yeah, yeah I agree. Uh... The episode probably would be better if they cut out the Karen kill. Yeah, no, like, the YouTuber made sense. He actually played a decent part in the role, in, like, the, like, in the episode, because, you know, Jake finds his body. It's horrifying. It's kind of weird that they didn't include Karen's body. And also, also, did, did it's kind of a plot hole, but I, I'm going to put that there as my worst moment. The plot hole that Jeff said he was going to give that body to EJ. I know his oh, whole thing is, which, his which whole one? thing is, the the YouTuber body, it, it's the one that was hung on the tree. I don't know if he's trying to, like, hang his food to, like, ferment, like, you know, you would do with, like, steak or, like, you know, like, cow or anything like that in a freezer, but that yeah. was weird. Yeah. So that was a little odd. Um, hmm. Um, I'm gonna go and mark out to my best in the same moment here now. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it coincidentally attaches over. I would say my favorite and the like the best one would be that hoodie Jeff fight. I don't necessarily love that they just suddenly stop for Tori because that just kind of feels weird. But I enjoyed the little banter between the two to like show, hey, not everyone gets along. But at the same time, it's like they can still live with each other and yada yada. Yeah, I have to agree with Kat. I think that's the best episode moment. Yeah. And I do love... Yeah, I agree that the Tory thing was kind of a eh part of it, because it would have just kind of been seamless to have Jeff and Hoodie fight, and then Slender come in and be dad and be like, oh, don't you do this, kids, I swear to God. Oh, God. That would happen. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, are we... Are, are all three of us saying Hoodie versus Jeff is the best scene? I suppose. Nice. Honestly, I think for my... He's like, I'm trying to think what my worst episode moment would be outside of Karen. Because, like, that is a bad moment. Mm. Hmm. Toby, you go while I think it over. <laughs> what, you, what, what did you say would be the best moment or worst moment of the episode for you? Um, I'm turning into humans. <laughs> and I'm like... Okay, yeah. My, I, my... Is, that, wait, is that best or worse? <laughs> I, you know what? Actually, I agree. Like... Yeah, the human thing was... I didn't like that. Wait, I completely like, forgot about it. Because, like, my, okay, I just don't like the fact that, like, they they both have blue eyes, they both have brown hair, right? Like, but the fact that, like, Tori got more? 
Yeah. <laughs> like, like if they ha- if they ha- they both have blue eyes, why didn't they just use the same asset? Yeah, and also mm. like the color hair is weird because like black's a natural hair color. <laughs> yeah, Not like admit- they didn't have to change it. Not to mention yeah. that we never got a proper explanation to how, how they turned into humans. Obviously, I know yeah, because exactly. I know okay. because yeah, ignoring I that we know because we're part of the studio. From a viewer perspective, we don't have a single idea yeah. as to what on earth just happened. Absolutely. Yeah, it's like. I... Yeah, it's weird. I have my best episode moment. That oh, like that's the part I like the most. Yeah. Um. Was was hoodie? Was that was hoodie just coming up to? He's like, I can take care of it. Pulls out a Glock. Oh, the the dinner scene. Yeah. Oh yeah. I just I like that. Yeah. Did I'm you re- just switch your feet to fat. Fuck. I mean, yeah, this is the fight, yeah. but that's my favorite it is. part. It, it is. is. It is literally <laughs> your fair. fat fuck. That is good. <laughs> Hoodie, Hoodie with a Glock um, is honestly the best. I I, I, guess I like that. that. Moves us into the next little segment, which is. The least valuable character to most valuable character of this episode. Um, now if it isn't shown by the fact that he has taken the cake on all of our fucking Big best moments, hoodie. my hoodie. favorite and most valuable this episode is Hoodie. Obviously. It's Hoodie. It's Hoodie. We love Hoodie. Hoodie, hoodie took this episode and he was the one who carried it. I, I think yeah. I think yeah, I the best thing about it is like Hoodie is not usually British. But I think I really love <laughs> British hoodie a lot more than just, you know, American hoodie. Yeah. Wyvern, the v- the voice actor for hoodie, really sells the role as, like, this really energetic, but also, like, just fun character okay. to be around. So, yeah. I... So I'm split, because I actually... Least valuable character, I'm split. Right? Okay. Explain okay. your thought process. Okay. So when you say least valuable, you mean the one with just the one we enjoyed the most or the one that had actually had use to the episode? So it can be a completely person, like personal bias. Like, oh, I think they didn't attribute much to the episode. I think they attributed a lot. But okay. also adding in that, like, what they attributed, I didn't really care for. Because it overall, though, was there, became nothing water. Mm, or... Okay. Just overall, their so, actions were mm-hmm. not likable. Yeah. All right. So yeah. So I'm so split. It's liking and also what did they bring to the yeah. episode itself? Yeah. To me, hoodie brought in a lot of fun and overall, like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just came off as a really good character and someone I would want to watch and like follow along for the future yeah. episodes. Yeah. yeah. So with me. So I'm split between two characters, right? First off, okay. Tori. Because it's like, I don't like the character in a sense of like, I don't know what the fuck is going on with her. Mm, that's fair. Because I am very certain they are not a creepy, like an actual creepy pasta. No, they, uh, I don't think so either. They're not an actual one. Yeah. Well, obviously but we then, know that. Yeah. But on the other hand... I don't know what the fuck Ben says. <laughs> that, I like, I, yeah, like, I don't know what it's for. It's not knowing a character, which, you know, is kind of fine in one way, because you at least get, like, if there's obvious moments of, like, introducing characters, they're the person who needs to ask, or they're the person who's going to, you know, be yeah. able to indulge the audience with the information. At least we can hear, Tori. Ben... <laughs> Yeah. Not so much. And also, like, Ben and Tori both give, like, a very equal amount to the episode, because, like, Ben doesn't contribute much to, like, being in it, and then Tori's also, like, she doesn't contribute much because you could replace her with a different character in the house for, like, her scenes. They also just kind of give the vibe of side characters. Like, at least with some of the other characters who had speaking lines, Masky... Hoodie, Jane, EJ, they had some personality with yeah. how they spoke and, you know, their dialogue. Ben and Tori are just... Yeah. They're I the decline mean... of, yeah. of the series. Cut. I'm going to interject yeah. here to talk about my little least valuable thing. 
So I'm not gonna lie, Jeff is honestly a little bit of a kicker to this to a degree because mm. there are moments to where it's just like, honestly, buddy, you're giving me nothing water. Like, I don't know what to see out of you besides, oh, look, you're Jeff the killer. And I'm kind of happy that Ben did call out the whole monologuing thing. and Like, something came out of that. True. Because it was really stupid. It worked twice. Yeah. However, I'm not going to give it to him because in the end, he still had a few highlighted moments. Mm. And I'm not going to get to Ben for that exact reason, too, of, like, Ben even pointed out, like, hey, your monologuing is kind of stupid, bro. Yeah. Like, what the hell? Um, mm-hmm. But I think I'm going to have to, at least for me, give it to Tori, because this is a creepy pasta series. And we don't know anything about her besides her name and the fact she's not actually a creepy pasta. Like, who is this girl? What's up with you? Why are we following you around as the main character and getting, like, inner monologues? Why did Jeff and Hoodie suddenly stop their bickering to say hi to you? Are you that important? Like, what's going on with you? And I'm getting zero answers, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I have to admit that, you know, definitely least valuable character has to go to Tori. You know... Cat's reasons are very valid. They give a sense of we're supposed to care about them or they're supposed to be important, but we don't get nothing about her. And just, it's a creepy pasta series, you know? Like, people are going to click the video just because if they know creepy pastas. Having Tori here and instead of like just another maybe notable creepypasta or just having one of the other characters be the main focus of the episode was it just didn't seem right like it's a creepypasta series we want to see creepypastas that we know and love not have a random character that we're going to need to watch and figure out their whole deal like if this episode didn't do it maybe if we watch episode two as a viewer We'll maybe we'll get something. I don't know. I actually don't remember episode two. But oh, she, she she <laughs> just gives um, brings nothing to the table. Well, and I'm, you already I'm know like, what's valuable. Kind of adding on to what Chris said of like, oh well, what if it was replaced with like honestly, yeah, her scenes could be replaced with some other people. An example being like, oh, why did Jeff and Hoodie stop fighting to say hello to this person? It's Sally. The small little girl that everyone adores when it comes to the canonical story of Creepypasta. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's they an impressionable child. Like, talk to her. An impressionable child. Like, yeah, so they'd stop their cursing and bickering and maybe, like, you know, uh, that's another thing with Slender is, like, uh, it's apparent to the lore, or at least, like, from what I've seen with Creepypasta, uh, is that Sally and Slenderman are, like, close and Slenderman is very, you know calm and nice with her so having jeff and hoodie kind of show that and get a little scolding from slendy it would all make sense but with tori it's just it's just like why it doesn't it's like we don't know why on earth it matters as if it's tori um and then like on top of that the sparing the guy scene honestly there's quite a few creepy pastas that could go to because a lot of them have morals and, like, I'm not going to kill for X, Y, Z reason. Like, Jane, she only kills bad people, like, who've done horrible things. If this guy is, like, oh, I accident, like, my drone's in here and I'm picking it back up, she's not going to kill him for that. No, yeah, like, Jane, would that would bring so much to Jane there and really establish her as, like, you know, which, like, as a character. It's just, like, she doesn't like Jeff. She'll act very aggressive towards him which wasn't really seen much this episode. So having the scene with Jeff, Ben, and Jane, we can get a little bit of that, like, during the planning phase, and then the actual execution of it, Jane can obviously spare him because he's not a bad dude, and, you know, maybe even question him a little more to make the scene feel more grounded, just to make sure it's not like a trick or anything, because they're trying to hide their identities, not really just let everyone go and trust every word then you know let the scene continue forward that would have been a really good scene 
But we didn't get that. We had Tori, who saw them at that store scene, which that store scene is kind of useless. Yeah. Except for that. Basically just set up for that scene. True. Yeah. Um, Toby, Toby, what do you think? Who's your most to least valuable here this episode? Um, I feel like I want to say the same thing, because, like, it's for, a, like, a less of a reason. I just didn't like the fact that it was Tori, um, Ben and Jeff, um, going out at the end instead of, uh, Hoodie. I wanted to see Hoodie. And then I liked Hoodie. <laughs> you know, fair enough. Hashtag it's, Hoodie it's representation. It would arguably make sense to send the guy who literally just volunteered. Like, like I feel like if they wanted efficiency. Yeah. And the, dude, the guy yeah, with the gun. Like, like, he's like, oh, it was just a drone. You didn't need to go out. And then when, like, there's an actual person, they're like, oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah. You know, I'm gonna ignore the person who was like so ready. <laughs> you know, yeah. like Toby kind of brings up a good point there. I, I like why not send three other characters that actually complement each other so we can learn their personalities too. Because really? three other characters, I just I wanted hoodie. I I, I know you wanted hoodie, but it's <laughs> like still we our main focus was on Tori, Ben, and Jeff. Yeah. Why not also spread that to like hoodie, Masky, and like someone else? Or like, it Jane. feels like they're focusing too much on or, them. Yeah, like it's Buddy Masky Toby. Like for a series called Creepy Pasta, I would like to know why Jeff. Yeah, and, you know, I love ben that obviously. And, Tor- <laughs> and this new character should be our protagonist instead of just, you know, anyone else. Like Indeed. It's Jeff, not I know just he- Tori. It's like the three of them. I just don't know which one it would be. It's a weird of the mix. three of them. Yeah, it's a weird mix. Like, why are Jeff and Ben so close? Like, apparently, that's supposed... Well, like, a lot of people, like, headcanon that. Yeah, but I feel like... I'm pretty sure Toby's also a part of that group that that gets headcanon. But that's that's still kind of just hit, like, well, I'm looking at Tori here, like, why not Toby? Why isn't Toby the thing? Like, their third member, like... Tori just seems so unnecessary. I think like, it, it, it is just a thing of like I feel like they focus too much on them. Yeah. Like instead of like we we only heard hoodie like two times. I think we heard EJ once. Yeah. Jane once. Lulu once. Like we I... barely heard from most of the characters this yeah. episode. It's like, but they, they had like, like one line constantly hearing Jeff and Tori and Ben did have quite a few, including the whole you punched me thing, which we didn't even see. So like, what are you talking about? Yeah, it feels like we're given incomplete pages. And the thing is, too, what I laughed at, like, you know, because I had to mute real quick because I didn't want you guys to hear how hard I was laughing. Yeah. I co- didn't even know Hobo Heart was there. <laughs> like, I completely forgot about him. Like, in the initial shots, we see, like, only a couple people on the dinner table. None of them are hanging out or doing anything else. So to just randomly see Hobo Heart's face out of nowhere just fucking confused <laughs> me and made me laugh. Because exactly. I'm like, hey, like, boy. Yeah. Um, so Davern, uh, well, Toby's trying to pick their least valuable out of their little three trio pick over there. Uh, what are you feeling? Oh, it's, it's definitely gotta go everyone. to Tor. I, I gotta go with Tori. Like, I complain most about her. Like, sure, Ben's inaudible, but <laughs> you can fix that. Tori is a whole new character you've introduced, and you can't take it back unless you kill her in the first, like, second episode. Which, you know, judging by thumbnails, that doesn't happen. So, yeah. I gotta give it to Tori, and obviously put Hoodie as my value character, because I love him so nah, much. You know what? I'll change my answer. EJ was the most valuable. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Take that back. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, fuck the king, yeah. <laughs> Give the king his crown, you fuckwit. <laughs> well, I think the the table consensus is that Hoodie was the most valuable. <laughs> yeah, so, you know. We love Hoodie in this household. And like, like they gave him an, they gave him a, an opening to do something and then they didn't take it. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I agree, I agree. 
Uh, did you ever pick between the three, Toby, or are you just gonna oh, leave it three? I'll, I'll leave it as the three. Like, okay, if I, I'll just if you want, I'll go with like what everyone else is. I'm like, yeah, you know, let's just no, no, no. You like, have your I own just, opinion. Oh, do what you want. This is your personal it's just, opinion. It's just the th like the the three of them got too much screen time. Yeah, compared to everyone else, is minimal. Yeah, I think yeah. everybody agrees with that. I think we've all basically said too much screen time for these individuals even so, jeff and right. ben was definitely mentioned in her thing um that moves us over to the next section of things which is sinful three to which each and every one of us is going to pick three moments we found that were just downright sinful about this episode and make our own sins for it all mm, all right all right we're going to start off at the uh, top of the call here with a Chris Nocturne. All right, well, you see here. Tori. Ding. <laughs> enough, okay, there's one. The Karen scene. All right, ding. And then finally, the human scene. <laughs> uh, well, the next in the VC is Davern. Oh. I have to agree with the Karen scene. It was very unnecessary. The store scene is just as unnecessary. It just kind of felt like lazy way to introduce Jake as a character. Now keep in mind that it was supposed to be a multiple perspective thing. And there was supposed to be something with that. But as a viewer watching this one episode, since the perspective wasn't really advertised as much back in the day... I would be so confused on why I needed to care, why the fuck I needed this scene, and why the fuck they were glamoured in any way to look like normal people. And third, the third one's a little difficult, but... You know, I'm gonna just pull a page from fucking Chris here. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna put a sin on Tori. Just because, again, unnecessary character and kind of bloated the runtime with some of their shenanigans of just Tori's Tori. Hmm. And yeah, that'll be it. A little... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go next, just because I'm, I'm gonna go in order of how our names are listed for alphabetical. And oh, yeah. so Toby can have time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... I'm going to get a little more specific with mine. So the first sin I'm going to kind of strike down upon them is Ben finding that radio, the plot convenience for this man to have walked away from the path he was taking to just get this random radio that's in the middle of a forest with a bunch of leaves and other stuff. Like, it's, it's a little too much. I completely forgot about it. Like, Jesus Christ. That's like, how the plot it convenience is plot conveniencing, you know? And I don't appreciate that sort of stuff. Fair Speaking enough. of the plot conveniencing, plot conveniencing, my second sin's gonna be those glamours. I don't see why those are a thing. They don't explain why they're a thing. The characters just kind of show up and now they look different and... They're glamorified, and it's just a very strange thing to have. Mm, true. Definitely, definitely. Um, and my sin number three for the episode is probably going to be a technical Tori of I don't quite like that she's being treated so softly by all the creepy pastas as if she is someone like Sally. We don't know who she is, really. And for her to just be getting this treatment as if she's the Sally of the group. Well Sally is quite literally in the group. Feels wrong. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, definitely. That is, that is that is a little weird. So I'm gonna say those are my three sins personally. Agreed, agreed. Very good answers. Now we should move it on to you, Tomer. Well, I already mentioned one. 
And it was the fact that Jeff has blue eyes and Tori has blue eyes and they didn't use the asset that they used on Tori on him. Inconsistencies. Yeah, inconsistencies. The hoodie getting, um... Oh, it's, uh, it's hoodie again. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we need to make an MVP screen of just a screenshot of Putty. It's like, Every... we do it for him. We love you. We Yeah, we'll, we'll just put a little hoodie in the corner there. It's just like, yeah, that's our boy. The, uh, the, the, the whole thing of, like, hoodie offering to go out and then proceedingly getting told, like, someone else being given that job. Even though he was like, yeah, let me go beat him up. Let me, let me go beat him up, and, and then nothing. But he got cucked. He did. But he got cucked, man. He got cucked, he got cucked by an elf. A guy with a smile. And a whatever the fuck Tori is. I think they mentioned that they're the living doll. At least from the trailer, I think, is when they No, they that. did. They're like... That it was the story of the living doll who ate her husband. Vor? Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. As an as like as I fucking uh as a little as a little audience man, they were married. The doll was really? married. This so, doll that's getting treated like a child was married. She um, bored I mean, her she's husband. At least an adult. And she she ate her, her husband. Yeah. Like I don't know what's up with her, but that, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> I I just kind of she acts it's... like a child. She's a wife. That is does that not have any red flags for anyone but me? A little it does bit. Does have quite a few red flags that she's acting so childish as supposedly a like like on one hand like it could like on one hand I I could argue that like maybe it's like an act, but I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know like about it, that. like it could. We, we have to watch. We'll have to watch more the rest of, of the show into it, but. Based off current stuff, it's like a bit of a red flag character yeah. that we don't know a lot about type thing. Yeah, I agree, yeah. We, we, w without the information, one? it's like... Yes, you can do your last one. I'm sorry. You can go crazy. No, you're good. Go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then when it goes back, it ties back to Skins. Um, I just don't like. I get it. They, like, in my and probably was a smaller team back then. But like, the inconsistencies through all the skins is like some have more effort put into them, and then some don't. Mm. So you just stare at it, and it's like, all right, you know this this the skin's looking good, and then you look at the person right next to them. Yeah, <laughs> and like yeah, slender yeah. suit. Slender suit <laughs> being like I don't I don't know how to describe it, but like the way that it like because it it was stretched out obviously but with the model, yeah. but like yeah. it was like, very the well. texture was weird. It was just a skin grabbed from Nova skin, like using my my actual in not in like in game knowledge here. It was <laughs> in fact a skin just taken from Nova skin dot me. Like if you look at it right now, you can go to no if you go to Nova Skin right now and just look up Slender Man, it'll probably be like the third or fourth skin you see. Like yeah. it, like I, I know this because I was very much involved with some of the skin work for Creepypasta. For some reason. I don't know. I was the new guy, so I don't know why the hell they allowed me to do that. They always but, you know, I, I I worked on the human version of Jeff. I didn't do any of the, like, the actual, like, you know, like, the hoodie uh, strings or anything like that. I just kind of did the eyes, and, you know, they told me, like, here, here's skin, uh, work on this. And I did it, and, you know, I kind of regret it. Because, you know, some skins are literally just crap from fucking Nova skin. Like, same with Toby, Jane, hoodie. So bad. Yeah. Mm. So that's the, why there's inconsistency. If not trying if they're to... they're using an asset, just use it everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree. It's not that hard. It's an asset. It is, it just is slap it on another skin. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. And hell, hue tool it. <laughs> True. <laughs> Alright. Um, 
Okay, that's everyone's little sinful three. Any other final comments from anybody about the episode and how the series is going so far? Can't wait to see Santa Claus. Yeah, you can <laughs> why episode two has Santa Claus. It, it, ha- it has potential. It had bet- look, some potential to be look, really if good. If they don't make Santa Claus a creepypasta, I'm done. If his name isn't Santa the Killer, I swear to God. No, no, no. Just the Santa killer? Claus as a creepypasta. Sanity Claus. Better yet, Wait, if they make claws, yeah, but like it's it's the uh, like the claws like oh yeah C L A W S. Oh yeah, that's oh, a good goodness. idea. Claws. Isn't yep. there an yeah. intro like the the person that like Krampus? Krampus yeah. there. Well, yeah, Krampus is a thing too, but that's an entirely yeah. different story. Yeah, it's less of a killer Santa Claus, is more of just a different culture's interpretation of the myth. Yeah, uh, Krampus is fun. I like it. Yeah. I like Krampus a little so, more like, than Santa. Just a little yeah, look, bit. Yeah, look, because look, if you're gonna have a Christmas episode about Kirby Pasta, use it. <laughs> Be it, it's already a ridiculous series, so might as well like get a little sillier, right? Like, go for it. You have horror elements. Agree, you have comedy elements. Mix the two. There you go. Killer yeah. Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa Claus from outer yeah. space, my guy. And then uh, on my note for the episode, I hope to God we get some explanations about what the fuck Tori is. Definitely. <laughs> and I also hope oh. that Ben becomes audible. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. Those are our uh, wish list. That's our Christmas list. <laughs>